Okay, so for this video, um, we did alter the look a little bit after we finished filming. So this is the actual final look we're going for. However, I'm not sure that you're going to have enough time to put in so much detail. But if you can, this is really more what we're going for. Um, so when you start out, the model here, her eyes are already green, but you're not actually going to have that. So your talent will be clean face and you'll start with just airbrushing the whole face green. You can go over the eye area, or you can um, leave that bare and then fill that in with the dark colors. But this look is gonna be a little bit progressive because the witch doesn't have a lot of time for the change. You're only gonna have about five minutes for her first switch from Mrs. Gulch to the Wicked Witch. So you're going to just start with the green face and hopefully the black eyes. And then after she comes off stage again, then we can go back in and add the dimension to the face and the details. And when she does that, then you're going to go in and you're going to start with first your highlight color, which you're going to mix your green with a white um, to get a really light green. You're going, to con or you're going to highlight down the bridge of the nose, around the, the eyebrows, like above the eyebrow, the side of the eye, and the top of the cheekbone. You'll do it to both sides of the face. I'm only showing one side here. And then you'll come back in with a contour color, which will be the green mixed with some brown and maybe a smidge of black. And you'll go under where you highlighted. So down the cheek, uh, the forehead, the side of the nose, starting from the, the eyebrow all the way down the bridge um, and coming into a point at the bottom of the nose. Then you can um, contour around the highlight of the chin to make the chin look a little more protruded. And then also don't forget to give the chin a little dimple there. You can also add um, like a mole on the nose if you want. But if you do that, you'll want to do that with black. And then you'll want to do the lips a little more blackish. We darkened the lip, the brows, and the eyes after we had finished recording. So that's what the difference is here. Now when you're doing the brow, you're going to start with a curved, a higher curved line on the front of the brow and then building the brow behind that. You can build the brow above where the talent's natural brow is to give a little more eccentric of a facial expression um, and a little more character. Or, or you can just build it on top of the brows, which is what I did here. So remember this will actually be your second step instead of the highlight contour is first the green face second you can do the brows and then the blackening of the eyes and I suggest to do that all with airbrush you'll want to turn the airbrush pressure down really low so it's not uncomfortable for the talent Okay, contouring here, I'm going around the flare of the nose, down the smile lines, just to give those final depth to the face. And here you can see the final look. And again, remember, so now compared to the picture in the beginning, all that's different is we darken the eyes with black, we darken the brows to be black, and we darken the lips but the face is exactly the same. Having that darkness really does make a big difference. 